Welcome YouTube. I just thought to do a little video post the cleanup crew. As you can see, they're doing an excellent job. The sand beds probably 80%, 90% free of diatoms, as is most of the rock work except these ones at the top as you can see we've got a couple of new additions to the tank we have a small two inch well probably three inch Kenya tree hopefully that'll uh, pick up and grow I don't know whether they'll be able to see this. That's a blue clove polyp. The idea is that's going to cover that piece of rock there in the small, pretty blue flowers, hopefully. I found one of these mushrooms there. Round the side. Now that was tiny, that's twice as big now. As you can see the flame angel's not uh, camera shy. However the potter's angel is. So I don't know whether we're going to get a, a good view of that. Over here, we've got the Halloween legged hermit crab. He's not moved much all day, so I think he'll be coming to life sooner or later. Pulsing Xena is doing well. We're starting to see some small sprouting undergrowth. The zoas are starting to open up again, slowly but surely. Found out what that critter was, it was a uh, zoa eating nudibrach. So I've been keeping my eye out and uh, removing as many as I can. I don't know if you can see the colours on this Potter's Angel, but it's absolutely beautiful. I tell you what, between them, the Potter's Angel, the Flame Angel, and Lenny the Blenny, they've done their fair share with the cleanup crew as well. They've been um, pecking the rock and the glass work non-stop. Oh, almost missed him. As you can see there, they've got a strawberry conch. This one's burying himself. Uh, he's got his little hidey hole up there, it's a flame angel. He sleeps up there and uh, when he's being chased by the potter's angel. He hides up there as well. Right, that's about it for now. Oh, just one other thing, if anyone can help me. 
I'm getting tiny patches of red. I don't know whether it's algae or whether it's just certain spots changing colour, but I've got them there and I've also got them on the Gobi Hill and there. There's none on the sand. Bit more on the rock work there near the Kenya tree. It looks pink almost on the camera, but it's quite red. If anyone could help me out with that, I'd be grateful. Right. This is uh, Simon signing off. Good night.